Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for the Azure PowerShell series that we are working on. In this video, we will see how to query output of Azure PowerShell commandlets. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and the PowerShell console and take it from there. Okay, as you can see, I've just deployed this uh, virtual machine. And if I go to my virtual machine section in my Azure portal, you will see only one virtual machine that I've just deployed to do this testing on this uh, video. So I go to my PowerShell console. I log in using my login Azure RM account commandlet. You see, I have this is my account. This is my subscription. Pay as you go. This is my subscription ID, tenant ID, and the environment which is generated by the Azure console at the backend. As we all discussed in the previous video that PowerShell commandlets are a combination of a verb, dash, noun. So uh, let's query the Azure RM VM that we have created, get Azure RM VM. Let's see. Let's see what it gives. I will leave one VM. Okay, so it says my resource group name is Test Usher New. My name of the VM is Test Usher Win. Location is Central India. VM size is standard TS1 V2. OS type is Windows. And NIC provision inside zone is succeeded. And Test Usher Win NIC 6 and by with the rest. So let's say I want to get. Uh, get Pipe it, select, let's say I only want name. It does not give it. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I Minus name is not the parameter. The name is the property of the VM that I'm calling here. Minus name is not, is also a parameter, but here in this command, it was a property of a virtual machine that I was selecting and piping it with get Azure RM VM commandlet. So let's say I only want to get, uh, get Azure RM, clear the screen get Azure RM VM pipeline select resource group name so now it will only give me the resource group of that VM and if I select the location it only give me the location so that is how I can use the PowerShell commandlets to query the Azure now let's see what it does give. let's say I want to know the OS type you see I have the OS profile property it says Microsoft Azure management compute model OS profile but I want to know the OS type let's see it is blank OS type is a nested property inside some other property. So let me just copy paste the command. It says select name. Name would give me the name of the virtual machine and the name. And I'm defining a parameter at variable at name equal to OS type. The expression would be it is stored under storage profile dot OS disk dot OS type. So it is a nested property in the JSON template. So I click yes. OS type is Windows. That is how it gives me this OS type property. There are certain properties which are not available by default, but it, they are available in the nested version of the JSON template. Now, let me just quickly use the where object, wherein it will allow me to filter the, the parameters types on the, the command list I want to select. So, get Azure RMVM where my resource group name is. So, I am filtering my property on the basis of RGD and I don't have any resource group like this now what will give you it will pull up the result of this file pipeline it where the resource group name would be like RGD star I'm doing a wildcard then print the name of the resource group name then the name of a VM right so 
if i hit enter i will not get anything it will not throw an error but it will not generate any output so if i use the same command and mention test now it give give me because my resource group name is test sir rg new i didn't have any resource group there so where was where commandlet was used in the command to filter out the property of a vm on the basis of certain criteria right then print out select resource group name then the name of a vm this way you can use uh, many commandlets and uh, run few scripts make new templates i hope this was informative for all of you i will post next video soon maybe tomorrow and i am working on my course for resource automation i hope you guys will like it and en and will enroll in that course also please do not forget to subscribe to this channel mention in your comments and feedback in the comment section and share this video as much as you can happy learning have a great day ahead